how I've clicked on to today's tropical tidbit for Sunday, October 28th, and here we are monitoring Sandy, now moving up east of Cape Hatteras, and you can see a very large storm as she has become. Hurricane force winds now extending out 175 miles, tropical storm force winds 520 miles from the center of circulation. You can see her eye is still evident here, although convection is rather weak at the center of the storm. Still lots of dry air getting pulled in, but again, this is a hurricane with hybrid-like support, mid-latitude support off to the northwest due to the trough that is picking her up over here. And even though this dry and cool air is coming in, you can see how cold it is relative to tropical air because of the, the broken cumulus clouds on the back side indicating cold air over the water. Yet she is deepening down another 8 millibars from last night. She was 960 last night, down to 952 today. And she's continuing to deepen will likely be sub 950 or sub 945 millibar pressure as she makes landfall and with all of this wind over a very large area the prolonged effects of the storm surge and rainfall are going to cause very serious damage in some areas right now you can see a heavy band of rain already setting up over the eastern seaboard which we can see on the radar now already forming from north carolina up through maryland Del Maryland, Delaware, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey already bringing rainfall rates of over three inches per hour in some areas here well out ahead of the storm center and tropical storm force winds are already affecting uh, the data buoys at least and the coastal stations along this section of the coastline even though the storm is still way out here and we're still about 30 hours away from landfall. And here's the latest track forecast from the NHC. The 5 p.m. advisory just came out. Here's 12 hours, 24, and you can see landfall about 30 to 36 hours away, likely along the southern half of the New Jersey coastline. And this forecast just really hasn't changed much over the last couple of days. We've had this honed down pretty good now, and we have a good handle on how the system is going to evolve. And where it comes ashore exactly won't matter as much with this particular system because of how far out the winds extend, but it will have an impact on which port portions of the coastline get the onshore fetch of wind and therefore some of the worst storm surge. This entire stretch of coastline here is under threat for a massive storm surge from this storm due to the enormous fetch that it has coming into the coast. You can see on the wave watch model here, these red colors indicate over 36 foot waves on top of what whatever the storm surge is and the ocean levels coming into this part of the coastline. And here's the NHC storm surge probabilities and uh, Hopefully you can see these green colors, they're semi-transparent, but we have green colors indicating greater than 10 foot water rises above normal coming into Long Island Sound and this bay between New Jersey and New York State. And you can just see how the ocean gets funneled into this ever thinner bay coming up the sound and the bay to the south of that. So this portion of the coastline is in for the worst of the surge and significant surges all the way down the New Jersey coastline and into Delaware and into Delaware Bay. So this is going to be quite a situation due to a very rare track coming in perpendicular to the coastline. You can just tell that the water piling up, the rainfall piling up on the western side of this due to baroclinic processes. Again, you can see the rainfall here already starting to set up this kind of backdoor warm front coming in from this side as warm air piles over the top of the cooler air coming down the back side. Rainfall is going to be excessive in here. Here's the rainfall map from the HPC showing greater than 8 inches over this entire area coming into Maryland, parts of Virginia, Delaware and New Jersey and this is going to be an inland problem for flooding. We're going to have massive inland winds as well as this large circulation comes in and takes a very long time to actually spin down because the tropical storm force winds will reach inland before the center actually starts weakening and of course on the coastline we have all of the storm surge, the flooding and the highest winds over hurricane force where the center comes ashore extending outward to 175 miles away from the eye. So this is a storm of historic proportions, very serious threat. There are evacuations mandatory in parts of Long Island and coastal New Jersey due to the storm surge threats and hopefully folks are heeding those and right now the best information you can get is going to be from your local emergency management offices and the National Weather Service for your location and they will be putting out all sorts of information on where you what you can do, where you can go if you need to go anywhere and what your impacts will be specifically in your location as this comes ashore. Very widespread, dangerous storm of historical proportions. Hopefully folks are ready for this. All right, well, that is it for today. I will update again tomorrow morning, likely, before landfall occurs, and you can follow uh, short updates that I post on Twitter and or Facebook throughout the day as information comes in and uh, things change. So keep an eye on those. All right, thanks for watching, and stay safe.